Hi, Milorad here. Today we are going to cook um, Latin American or kind of uh, Latin dish. It's called torta. And we have our uh, friend as a guest and she will cook torta for us. Here on this table, I have all these ingredients that we're going to use today. Here we have eggplant and we have serrano pepper. We have these mushrooms. We have onions. We have sweet bell pepper. We also have uh, this uh, colorful pepper and uh, and this is that eggplant just diced and all these vegetables except these mushrooms are from my garden and here we have a cheese that we grated and this is a um, special cheese it's kind of spicy cheddar cheese and here we have duck eggs that we're going to use instead of more traditional chicken eggs. All ingredients are ready and we just need to find our friend to start cooking. We are using two yeah. duck eggs. No, you're going to use three. Three? All of them? Yeah, because you have a lot of vegetables. Okay. Three duck eggs. I use four rounds. Yeah, but those are big ones, remember. Right. And first thing to do, we will just beat those eggs. We will beat the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> we have eggs, beaten eggs here. We put all these vegetable ingredients that we're going to use. And we also put grated cheese in this. Now this, the whole mixture is ready for torta. Here in this pan we have olive oil. We just check the oil and it's not, it's not hot enough. We will wait a minute or two. All this mixture goes into the pan. Is this a traditional uh, food in uh, Latin America? Yeah. Honduras, Nicaragua? Nicaragua, no, we do have it in Nicaragua for sure. Sí. Yeah. In Mexico? Mexico, we don't know about Mexico. Yeah, in Mexico they, they just use uh, uh, meats also. They put pork or they put beef. Really? Yes. And then they use telera bread and make it like a sandwich. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Make it like a sandwich. And the other pan, we will saute the rest of vegetables because it was way too much for torta. kind of uh, running those eggs on the sides. Any seasonings? On the eggs they already got it. This one, I'm going to 
Salt and pepper. No, torta. Salt and salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Challenge. Now turn it. That's the challenge. Now that's challenging to turn. The torta. Torta. Woo! This is better. Yeah, much better. That was good. That was good. Good, good turn. Yeah. That's a good trick. Ah, es cuando los vegetales se cocinan ahí en sí. We're adding more vegetables to it. Now the rest of vegetables that we kind of just uh, saute a little bit, we will put at the top of the torta, With plus the, the rest of the cheese as well. And now we're going to cover a little bit, and that's it. We're going to cover the cheese. So that up. You can turn it off for the heat. It's going to finish it. The heat is off. Yeah. The cover is on. Yeah. And a minute. It's going to be better. One minute later, we will have our torta ready to eat. <laughs> Which one do? <laughs> I do? I want to, to see my... my uh, Happy face. Your happy face. <laughs> In a minute we will have our torta ready to eat. And with torta we will have a special bread that we bought today. And it's... Uh, it's right here. Right here. This is focaccia tonda con patate from the store. It's called Italy, like Eat Italy. Okay. Torta ready. Keep recording, Milorat. Keep recording. Uh, our torta is ready. Looks good. Too. Oh it's, yeah, it's much better than it looks fantastic. And my wife is complaining that it looks better than earlier when they made the same <laughs> torta but without these vegetables and using chicken eggs instead of duck. Tasting our torta made from vegetables from my garden, duck eggs and a special um, flaming jack cheese. And we have this focaccia bread and let's go into it. piece of bread and a piece of torta. I need one more bite. Is it a spicy?
vegetables are still crispy. And this duck egg is just unbelievable, creamy and uh, it has much, much richer taste than uh, chicken egg. And this is, this is just a beautiful dish. It usually is for um, breakfast, but because I eat one meal a day, it's, it's my one meal a day. It doesn't matter what time I eat it and how we call it. It's fantastic dish and thanks to our friend Orbelina for making it for us. In my language and so many other languages, torta actually means uh, cake, but here in Spanish I think they also um, say torta as a cake, yeah. but this time this is torta, but it's a savory dish and uh, I'm enjoying it very much. I will enjoy the rest um, of the camera. Thank you very much for watching. Milorad, out! Beautiful torta!